This video is brought to you by Nano, creators of virtual reality tools for immersive molecular visualization and interaction. Follow the link in the video description to download Nano and explore molecules yourself. Since we're talking about proteins, I do want to mention something that's sort of uh, clinically related, prions. Uh, so what are prions? Uh, prions are basically just infectious proteins. Sometimes they're called infectious protein particles. Same thing. Um, what's the deal with them? Well, they cause transmissible spongy form encephalopathies, or TSEs. And these things are uncurable, and uh, they are 100% fatal. So they're pretty, pretty brutal. Okay. Um, some examples of, of transmissible spongy form encephalopathies that are caused by prions are creutzfeldt jakob disease, or CJD. And there's some different versions of that that affects humans. And Kuru also uh, infects humans. Um, so those are obviously um, the more important ones medically. Um, but there's also bovine spongy form encephalopathy, or BSE, popularly known as mad cow disease, which of course infects cattle. And then there's scrapie, which infects sheep. Um, and the deal with prions is that they induce a change to the secondary structure uh, to otherwise normal proteins by just simply contacting those normal proteins. Um, and um, they're pretty horrendous horrendous diseases. I mean, I already mentioned they're incurable and 100% fatal. fatal. Um, but let's talk a little bit more about uh, prions. So there's a protein called prion protein, which is a, a normal protein in our brain and other neural tissues. And um, this is kind of my representation of it, okay? Um, the, the key thing there is, is that it's, it's designated PRP or PRPC, and that just stands for prion protein. And it's normal. It's, like I said, it's a normal protein that exists in our, in our brain and other neural tissues. And it has a bunch of alpha helices, okay? Got a bunch of alpha helices. Now... Um, there's another version of PRP, which is called PRPSC, and I think the SC stands for, um, or comes from scrapie, which is the disease in, in sheep uh, caused by the prion protein. And there's this, this PRPSC is the infectious prion protein. And it, instead of having a bunch of alpha helices, it has a bunch of uh, beta pleated sheets. And, um, because of that, the beta pleated sheets are hard to degrade. This PRPSC is very, very stable, and um, it's resistant to degradation or denaturation. Here's a quick 3D visual of the two different prion proteins. Over here to the left uh, is the normal, whoops, uh, normal prion protein, PRP, and you can see the bulk of it is made up of alpha helices, okay? The infectious prion protein, however, PRPSC over here, you'll notice that the bulk of it is made up of beta pleated sheets, right? So this thing is particularly stable because of those beta pleated sheets, and that is really why it's a tremendous problem because it's so resistant to degradation, okay? Um, and this protein, when it comes into contact with normal PRP, right, normal prion proteins, it turns those normal prion proteins into in infectious um, prion proteins and they go through and infect more normal prion proteins. And so um, it's just pretty much exponential once it's uh, got a hold of, of normal, normal prion proteins. Um, the reason why this thing is, is so, um, so bad is, is that it forms um, amyloid fibrils in neural cells and it damages neural cells and ends up killing those neuro neural cells. And so, um, it, it, it causes these transmissible spongy form encephalopathies. So um, these are diseases of the brain and nervous tissues. In fact, the spongy form um, refers to the fact that it basically turns like your brain to looking like a sponge, right? It puts a bunch of holes in your brain um, because all those nervous cells end up getting uh, damaged and, and, and they die. And um, um, it's actually pretty horrible what it does. And so, uh, and of course, transmissible refers to how infectious this PRP uh, SC version is. Um, and so some of the symptoms, of course, um, since it affects the nervous system are as follows. Um, memory loss, involuntary muscular movements, 
seizures, personality changes, balance and coordination problems, hallucinations, speech impairment, paranoia, all these different things um, as far as um, the nervous system goes. So, um, and of course, without your brain and other neural tissues, you can't survive. So, um, and the, since there's no way to really undo this, at least not that I know of, not that I think scientists know of yet, um, they haven't figured out a way to kind of get rid of uh, or, or solve this problem of, of prion infections, which is why the mad cow disease whole thing was like particularly scary to a lot of people. Um, but yeah, so um, I hope that video was helpful and an interesting clinical correlation to proteins. Thanks for watching.